and uh, went, uh, was able to go over to Europe back in the uh, early to mid-70s when a lot of homeopathic uh, remedies were being... And so she got very interested in doing, finding some exercises to, uh, to deal with that pain. To, so primarily what TNC is, is, it's a preventative and a rehabilitative no, workout. Uh, it's designed to help prevent illnesses as far as if you One get the things button. that uh, is very beneficial, um, particularly for uh, women as we get older, is and turn it, it back, okay, like you're reaching out for somebody, okay? Now, then curl that bicep now. Do you feel that you're working not only your... It's also in the back of my shirt, <laughs> but it, it is in your handout, is comprehensive compound, your muscles are tight. Okay. Whenever we do the T-tap stance, which I'll show you all that in a moment, we, we got our, our knees bent because we I just started doing T-tap and I'm going to the bathroom more. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was teaching high school, maybe I'd have been able to mm -hmm. still stand doing that. Um, can't do that anymore. No child left behind. We're not going there. <laughs> said, That's not tonight's subject. Uh, that will also keep us to be able to breathe better because we'll be able to. This is Charlotte. Now, uh, Charlotte's, um, Charlotte's <laughs> husband, you can see, Charlotte was able to get her daughter in her pants that she used to wear. Wow. She went from a 22W down to a 6 involved in it. Okay. The other thing is that T-TAP is a left-right brain. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. But, uh, <laughs> but you, it, that's one reason why people who, who do this uh, with T-TAP, she happened to have heard about Teresa doing classes whenever she was uh, down there in Florida. She had moved down to Florida from somewhere up north. Uh, one of those Yankee transplants. Let me see. I'm trying to find it. I know there's a bigger picture in here. but If not, I did not go through a mark in between it. But anyway, awesome. but so Barry now is 84 years old, and when we go down to the retreat, she will run circles around us. Hmm. She's 84 years old. If somebody who had lymphoma, or you hear about your, your lymph glands, if you, how many of you have, if whenever you get, start feeling like you're coming down with something, it really will help you balance your blood sugar. Uh, it is amazing the way that it works. But it's a move called hoe downs, and we'll go, I'm going to get up and do it in just a little bit. And it is a um, workout, that, or uh, the exercise. That's what it looks that like. That happened to me. Uh, I used to have terrible headaches and high blood pressure. And uh, 11 years ago, it happened 11 years ago, I lost my memory. Saying, and in fact, I just barely remember of being there on the highway. I know that I started out, it was daytime when I started out for my job, but you were walking on the side of the freeway, and how do you know the whole driver's side? side, and then also on the hood, you know, things growing there. So I went over there, and as I said, it was extremely hot. I was out there working, mowing, so we the bill. And on top of that, they're going to find excessive heat and high blood pressure medicines, they don't go together. They actually hate each other. Mm -hmm. They actually call I'm sure she is. <laughs> Two weeks prior to, and so I told him, I said, honey, I said, you just lay here. I said, I'll be right back. I didn't know if he was having a stroke or a brain, a brain bleed. That's why a lot of times they tell physicians, like, where are we going? I just told him not that long ago where we were going. So I said, we're going to. I was like, honey. <laughs> Just like a man, right? And uh, he said, he said it's real expensive. We shouldn't park here. I said, honey, it's free. <laughs> and so I'm bawling and everything, and I'm trying to explain the pain. It was just so, it, it was so painful. And with my uh, but uh, a lot of times when people have, we saw her suffer horribly for two, all the ills that went along with this this disease. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean. It took a while for her to speak to me and to speak to my spirit, and then, you know, I started saying, okay, okay. I said, let me, let me just say, what if I had some type of horrible disease? I said, would you be able to stand in faith with me? The man of God said, yes, what have you been telling me all these months that you'll stand in faith with me, right? Someone else, but I decided to go a different way. I wasn't going to take any of the pills and things that someone else would have dispensed. All right? I went on these seminars in Tennessee, and that evening... That was a Thursday evening. That Thursday evening, we came across something at Whole Foods in Cool Springs. 
back on the horse and start trying again. And so we want to thank our host and our mentors, mm -hmm. Phil and Celeste, to each other with every single day. And we say,